Dear friends, we value precious time for your convenience and good experience. There is chapters included in video timeline. Moreover, you will get direct link to each of three playlists as well as link to our official Facebook and Twitter account in description. Welcome back friends, Dutam Jaya here with more of Witcher 3 next gen walkthrough in death march difficulty. Today we will do Witcher contract towards slamming shut, which is level 24 recommended quest based in Novigrad. We need to talk to Kurt Tysert to know more about this quest. Let's go and meet him. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Kurt, there he is. Yes? Count Kurt Dysart. Are you here regarding the contract? Wanted to hire a witcher, didn't you? I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Which do you belong to? From the school of the wolf. School of the wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no. There's no one that begin with a B. Never mind. Uh, to the matter at hand. Berenger? Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now, I've learned, the building is set to be haunted. Goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Yes, why not? But first, let's negotiate. Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon? Asking for coin already? But you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Novigrad and he's off his head in minutes. You're talking to White Wolf. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Well, sir, your tone is little bit preclear. Uh, let's say 350. Hmm. No, I'm afraid that's too much. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. Okay, okay. Let's say 340. Hmm. No, I'm afraid that's too much. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. Because of your tone, sir, I will charge above 300 anyways. Let's say 320, it's final. Yes, agreed. All right. Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Here's the key. And good luck. Okay, now we need to travel to his haunted mansion. Meet you guys near to the location. So this is the haunted mansion. Moldavi residence. That's it, Roach. Okay, let's go inside. So this is the haunted house. That's the entrance and we have mansion key. What's this? Something splattered on the floor? Whoa, earthquake? Whole building shaking. But a spectre would have attacked me already. Yes. Inhabitant clearly left in a hurry. 
which means somebody was here. Nice, we got Northern Wind Bombs Alchemy Formulae. What is this? Scattered salt. Probably to drive ghosts away. <laughs> Pointless superstition. Yeah, but Geralt, you also suggested this scattered salt technique to Baron during botchling quest, remember? Maybe useful if spirits involved. Air flowing through this crack. There's something in there. This place is having a good amount of alchemy materials. Oh, we have a crack wall. Wall seems a little thin. No one's been here in a while. Looks like an elven ruins. Oh, it seems someone is trapped inside. What's this? A branch of a tree? Not the root of any ordinary plant. Must be magic. Oh, it's a root. Hmm, looks like a journal. Amberic of Sorano's journal. Let's read. When dealing with beings of this nature, it is most vital to achieve equilibrium between giving free rein to its will and obstructing it with the fetters of servitude. The sagacious elementalist who has tamed a magic minion should not heed the sweet yet pernicious urge to unbind the being, for only harm will come of it. Wailing and gnashing of teeth will be the only result. Likewise, he who tightens his servant's yoke overmuch will gain nothing from it. For his enhancing being will be to him dumb and dull as a lump of earth. The key is to prepare a proper magic barrier, one whose effectiveness shall be backed by crystal of power. This crystal is of the utmost importance. If it should break, the barrier shall fail, yet worry not over much, for neither axe nor blade can harm it. A barrier thus secured shall serve as the minion's prison without unduly hindering its power. The ability to erect it properly, however, demands a high level of proficiency, the kind no mere superficial study or practice can provide. The bunglers and never do wells of our profession need not apply. Right, sounds suitably pompous. Must have Ducas make a clean copy of this first draft, prepare it for publication. Wonder where that cloud is. I sent him out for cheese and ink ages ago. An earth elemental. Pretty powerful too. Gotta go deeper. Need to open the passage somehow. Terzain. Earth elemental. Anyways, let's see the bestiary. There's no such thing as a risk-free real estate investment. It might turn out your new home has a leaky roof, structural rot in the attic, a scratched floor in the living room, or elven ruins beneath its foundations, and within them an enormous earth elemental just waiting for a chance to break free of its chains. Fighting such a monster is no easy task. Its tough outer husk deflects all but the strongest blows. It can liquefy a man's bones with one crushing blow from its fish. Thus one should never near it without first casting the quen sign. One should have the yarden sign at the ready as well. Whereas the other signs, Igni, Ard and Axie are completely ineffective against it. Hmm. This thing is vulnerable against dimeridium bomb and elemental oil. Give me a moment guys, let me set dimeridium bomb. Huh, 
Okay, it's done. I need to open this door, but how? Uh, nothing. Wait a minute, we have something there. Let's check it out. Ah, we have a key here. Something clicked. Alright, finally the door opened. There it is, protected inside magic barrier. Okay, let me toss element oil. And run my decoctions. Okay, first of all I need to break this magic barrier. Almost managed to break its magic bonds. Days more and it would have wreaked havoc all around. What's this? Uh, nothing happened. Ah, there it is. Key to this magic barrier. Oops. Okay, let's begin. That's it. I was sure that would collapse on my head. <laughs> yeah. We have a relic sword and earth elemental trophy. Wait a minute, let me double check again. Nah, nothing left. Alright guys, now you have to collect reward from Kurt. <laughs> 
सी यू एट द इन What? Yes. How shouldn't give you any more trouble? A little renovation and it should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why the estate's price just spiked sharply? What precisely was the problem? Earth elemental trapped in the cellar. It was just trying to get out. Almost demolished the house in the effort. Hmm. <laughs> Far more interesting than a ghost, that certain. And the cellar you mentioned. Is it an estate to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, we shall see. Ah, uh, your bounty. And there you are. And uh, farewell. Very hard, and your eyes will pop out. That's wonderful. We got a trophy. Ashes to ashes. Complete the contract on Thersen. Nice. All right, that's all from door slamming shut. Let me see the quest section. So guys, next let's do this level 16 suggested Skellige based contract, Strange Beast. Okay, now we have to travel to village Larvik. See you there. Take a suit, sir, to know where it's raining. Can't wear a remi cape. Oh, work at the base. Thorleaf. I think he's the village elder man. Yeah, you're a watcher. I see it right. Greetings. Saw your notice. Huh? And they said, where you hang on that? Ain't no one else gonna hunt that beast. But I showed them. Yeah, definitely you showed them. Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets. Blather about costches and manticores, but I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the council of Freya's priestesses, we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted, mustered a crew, and only four came back. The rest massacred the east of the village. So, will you help? Yeah, definitely. But before that, let's negotiate. Let's talk about my reward. You want to bargain? How would you count it? Heighten hands at the withers, or...? Mm. By species. Drowner's less than a cockatrice. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've no notion what prows the high road. What do you say you cut it down and then we'll talk? Mm -mm. We pre-agree a price. Define a bonus for unforeseen risks. Uh, so, how much? Good lord, payment is huge. 767 is highest. Well, in this case, uh, how about 6.30? Ah, uh, have it your way. Does your neck on the line. That's wonderful. He agreed. I'll tend to the monster. Not your first. That's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors. Where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphere. Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there by that hut. Alright, now we need to talk to the warriors. Swear, he says. Rain all your way. Rain and again. Ah, there they are. I'll ask this witcher. He'll tell you monsters don't set traps. What's the issue? Ye or anyone ever heard of a beast setting a wagon in the road, then waiting in ambush? They're too plain dumb for that, damn it! Dumb or no, they tore a few of our lads to shreds, and we ran like rats. They deserve to be buried. 
Really thought you could take on this monster on your own? We had to try. If we didn't, who would? <laughs> Think Larvik's some kind of getaway for mutants? Which you're stopping in every week? Why not, since you have monster problem? Willing to talk about it? Tell me what happened. Ask away. Word is, you were ambushed. Tell me where. Short way from here, along the road to Lofoten. Saw a wagon crosswise the road near the woods. We barely got to it when something came rushing through the underbrush and whoosh! Blood spurted in the eyes. I wiped it away, looked, saw Einar lying dead. Remember what the monster looked like? It were dark. Casper thought he saw something, but. Because I did? It was huge. Its maw all blood smeared. Bugger got it ungy with one claw, near spliced him in two. Hmm. Interesting. Thanks. Huh. For what? Take it easy, man. Raining again. Take a suit, sir, to know when it's raining. Well, it seems we have a hidden quest here. Let's see. Swana, this name seems familiar. Have a word? I serve the goddess and her flock. What can I help you with? Ah, now I get it. Horse racing quest we read earlier in notice board. Now it is not the time to pursue this quest. Nothing at the moment. Farewell. Okay, now we need to find the ambush site. Roach. Faster. Take it easy. Well, it seems we have another hidden quest here. Let's check it out. Hands and sharp eyes lead us. Right, lads. Let's get to work. Clear out this mine. Hmm, it seems we have some mine problem here. Let me save the game. Who are you? Why are you here? Could ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters, aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers in doing so. Well, I can help you if you want to get me involved. I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory due us? No chance. Glory won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Hmm. When you're thinking it, makes sense. Hmm. All right. You lead the way then. Oh my god, I need to protect this too. Anyways, let me toss necrophage oil. This will be a huge task. Alright, let's go boys. Now, for God's sake, please stay behind me. Hey, where you going? Come on. Oh my god, one of them is critically injured. Oh, you stupid, please stay behind me. Oh 
Holy hell, it's madness. Somehow I managed. Last one. Drag the corpses outside. Burn them. Other ghouls don't scorn their cousins' corpses. Aye. True. It's good you came. Seems Freya watches over us to have let you here. We're grateful. And will be for long. <clears throat> Folk are generous with gratitude. Not so much with coin. Oh, hi. So, after glow of the battle, we're still caught up. Damn you, slice him good. Here, for you. Thanks. Farewell. Friends, we show our axe. Remember that. Ah. Oh. We got an old relic sword. Let me see the inventory. This is Hattori's gift. This one we got from previous quest. There it is. It's a steel relic sword. Alright. Okay, as we are here, let us search this mine properly. All right, that's it. Let's leave this mine. Oh, I completely forgot. Let me change the quest. There it is, strange beast. Let's go, Roach. Okay, this is the ambush site. Hmm, we have something here. Mm, something really did tear him to pieces. Much left. Beast must have dragged the shredded body to the woods. Looks like blood, but hmm. red clay. Hmm. Necker warriors use this clay to mark their position in the pack. Creature leading the Neckers is sentient. Gotta be capable of setting primitive traps at least. Hagub hey, man, what's this? Let me see the bestiary. Your average Necker is cowardly and weak and only ever attacks in groups. Even then, only when the group greatly outnumbers its opponents. Yet, at times, there will appear among them an individual who towers over the rest in terms of strength, stamina and cunning. Such knackers are usually called warriors. Though that name is misleading, warriors fight with honor, face to face. These overgrown knackers act more like assassins. They strike by surprise, from hiding in the back or while their opponent exposes himself while attacking. Interesting. Luckily, like other Necker's warriors, are vulnerable to all the signs and their blows can be easily parried or countered. Okay. This thing is vulnerable against Northern Wind Bombs, Ogroid Oil. Luckily, we have Northern Wind Bombs in our inventory. There it is. Try 
tracks lead into the woods. Hmm, we have a cave here. Found a good place for their nest. All right, let's go inside. Wait a minute, we have poisonous substance here. Let me run golden oriole. There it is. Now you are immune to these things. Oh, it seems Neckers already sensed we are here. Let me toss Ogred oil. Finally, the main nest. Hmm, the battle is about to begin. Alright, moment of truth. Uh, guess I got company. Oh, now the whole pack arrives. Let me toss Ogred oil again.
<sighs> Enough with your dancing. Okay, let's see what he dropped. Another relic sword and Necker Warrior trophy. Okay, job done. First of all, let me collect all the droppings of Neckers. Alright guys, time to collect reward. Well, well. So will you help then? Monster gone. Killed the beast that was troubling you. Merciful Freya. Horson's finally dead. <laughs> now, tell us. Was it a tough fight? Got any wounds, need dressing? No, I'll be all right. Ah, uh, nothing new to the likes of you. Hard work, what you're in. All right, your reward. This here's for you. Thanks. So long. Oh. All right, guys, that's all from Strange Beast. Let me see the inventory. Divine, a steel relic sword. Nice design. Alright my friends, that's all from today's part. If you like our video, give like and share this video among your friends. New viewers who are liking our content, please subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to hit the notification bell as you will get notified as soon as we publish videos. See you soon in the next part. Take care.